Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm glad you're here. If you saw my thumbnail, you're not gonna take a bottle of aspirin and set it on your tomato plant. That's not gonna do anything. But I'm gonna show you today how to make an aspirin spray. And this aspirin spray is gonna be great for your tomato plants. If you never heard of it, I'm gonna tell you the three reasons why you wanna do that. And I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. Um, we're gonna pretend this is a tomato because I don't have any tomatoes yet. But last year, my tomatoes did not crack at the bottom, and I'm going to tell you near the end of the video why I believe that my tomatoes did not crack. I didn't have any to crack at the bottom. All right, so first thing, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to tell you what you need. You're going to need two aspirins, and you want to make sure that these are just plain, bare aspirins, or I got these from the dollar store, even cheaper. All right, so what I mean by that, they're just white. They don't have any uh, coating on it because I'm using a sprayer. And if I use the uh, aspirin with the uh, coating on it, that's going to mess up my sprayer. And I don't want you to, I don't want that to happen to you. Or right, if you want to use a watering can, then you can do that. That's fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, this little small sheet of paper. I'm going to put it, my aspirin inside there because I'm going to use my hammer. And you also need a gallon of water. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and crunch this up. Now, if you don't want to uh, crunch it up because of the noise, I'm trying to do this a lot quicker, then you can just drop the two aspirins in your uh, bottle and uh, wait until it dissolves. But if you crunch it up, it's gonna uh, speed up the process. All right, so I'm gonna slide it in there. Make sure I got it all in. And then also I like to shake it up myself to speed up the process. And so I'm gonna let that dissolve even further. Now I'm gonna tell you the uh, three reasons why you wanna think about doing this, why this works. And I, I um, thought it was crazy about four or five years ago, but I said, let me give it a try. And this is not my idea. I saw uh, Gary off the Rustic Garden, and he has been doing this for a long time. So I said, you know what, let me try it. And boy, am I glad that I did try it. So this is like my fifth year doing it. All right, the first reason is, the reason why you're going to spray it on the leaves and you can uh, spray at the base of the uh, tomato plant is because we're trying to trick the tomato plant. When we do this by putting this uh, asthma spray on it, it's going to think that it's under attack. It's going to think that it's either under attack by disease, or like blight, or even by pests. All right, so what this is going to do, it's going to trick that tomato plant into uh, strengthening their immune system. I don't know, I forgot the exact hormone, but it's going to provide a hormone in the tomato plant, and it's going to try to fight off the disease, or it's going to try to fight off the pests. But you're doing this when your plant is healthy already. So if you have disease already, do not spray this uh, on it. So you wanna make sure that your plant is healthy, doesn't have any issues. And then it's gonna automatically get stronger. The leaves are gonna to get tougher. Then the plant is gonna produce that hormone and you're gonna have a stronger plant. Now you may say, how, how often should I do this? You can do this every two weeks, all right? So you put that this uh, spray together, you make it, every two weeks if you want to now sometimes i don't stick with every two weeks but i try to give it every two to three weeks all right so the next thing that it's going to do it's going to help your plant in the hot summer the hot dead of heat it's going to make it heat uh heat tolerant all right so your plant is going to be able to withstand these high temperatures in the summertime so that is the uh, reason number two the third reason is, I'm going to ask you, do you want more tomatoes? All right, if the answer is yes, then this is also going to help you have more tomatoes on your uh, your plant. Last year, all my tomato plants were bent over. I was staking them up, staking them up, and they were just falling, tomatoes hanging on the uh, ground. So that is the uh, third reason why I um, use the spray. All right, so it flat out works. All right, so just a reminder, you wanna make sure when you use a spray, I'm not gonna put any uh, soap in this. 
I, I could, but since I'm going to spray at the uh, root, at the roots as well as spray on the uh, tops of the leaves and under the leaves and the stem, I'm not going to uh, put any uh, soap in it. But when you are using any type of spray, whether you have soap or, or uh, not, you want to only spray one plant first. You do not want to spray all your plants because you want to check first and you want to wait 24 hours to make sure that there's no issues with this uh, with this uh, bottle of water that you're using or your spray, whatever spray it is. So after 24 hours, I will go back out and look at all my other plants. I will look at my uh, the plant. If there's no issues, then I'm going to spray all my other plants with that uh, solution that I came up with. That's just being on the safe side. All right. So next thing I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my uh, aspirin spray in my uh, sprayer. But like I said, if you don't want to use a sprayer for this, you don't have to. You can go ahead and get a, your uh, watering can and use that, and it works the same. You just want to make sure you hit the leaves and you uh, hit the uh, base of the plant. All right, so let me go ahead and get this ready so we can go outside. Pump that up. All right, so now we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna show you how to uh, spray your plant. And then I'm gonna give you that bonus tip as well. All right, so let's go. All right, so all I'm gonna do is Spray the top of the leaves like this. Make sure I get it nice and good. Go under on the underside of the leaves. And last thing, I'm just gonna spray at the base. And you can just uh, pour it down there, but I'm just going, since I'm already spraying, I'm just going to let make sure the uh, roots can uh, absorb the aspirin spray. Uh, let me hit the stem. All right, and that's basically how you uh, spray it. All right, for the last tip, if, if you look down at the uh, base of my uh, tomato plants, since I pulled the, uh, I've already cut the leaves back. I always put my uh, mulch around the uh, plant and that helps out with uh, keeping it moist all throughout. So that's what I believe that caused last year that I didn't have any uh, splitting of my tomatoes. And I'll go ahead and I'll fill the rest back in on the other side. So if you take um, a type of mulch, whatever type of mulch you wanna use, I've used wood chips of course, if you uh, put the wood put the wood chips around or whatever mulch you feel comfortable using, that is going to help keep that tomato plant nice and moist, and you won't have to worry about all that uh, cracking of your tomatoes. So that was the bonus tip that I uh, found out that worked for me last year. Because la last year was the first year that I used wood chips. All right, so I hope you found the uh, spray was uh, success. It, the, hope that you found the spray works for you. If you try it and also try mulching your tomato plants and that should help you grow a lot of tomatoes and should help you uh, keep all the uh, cracking down at, at a minimal. All right, so this is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great day. Bye.